So if you haven't heard already, New World is coming to consoles, meaning Xbox and PlayStation. And it is coming with crossplay between Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. That's coming out on October 15th. This is amazing news. But it also confirms some conspiracies I've been having when it comes to Amazon and the games that they're already trying to release and publish versus New World. And so we're going to get into that later as well. But first off, why is this amazing news? This is amazing news because I used to play New World on PC with my wife, and we had a lot of fun playing New World. And I, the only reason I stopped was because I was afraid of my PC actually blowing up because it did um, have a malfunction when we first started playing New World. And it was a brand new PC, but you know, New World was breaking PCs like, like crazy back then. And luckily mine didn't get bricked, but um, I did go through some issues with it. But now it's coming out the console, I have a more reliable you know, way to play it. And if something screws up with that, I'll just buy another console, which is a lot cheaper than buying another PC, to be honest. Um, but, so the one thing that's bothering me right now is that, is it going to still be an MMORPG? It will definitely still be an MMORPG. I watched the entire dev update. They didn't say that it was going to still be an MMORPG, but they alluded to it with the amount of things that are still going to be within the game, not changing the game from the core aspects of the game. They're just making it easier so people can level up solo and play solo to get to end game and have new things to do in end game without having to be, you know, a part of a grouper anything like that but there's still going to be group content that you have to do if you want to get you know the end game style gear starting with the brand new 10 man raid that they're putting in the game like the amount of things that i wanted to see happen with this game and the things that are finally happening because they're coming to console i'm super hyped like you don't understand the one thing i wanted to see happen was this come to console very early in its life um period because a lot of people were hyped about the game and we had a lot of issues getting into the game when the game first launched but they say they're not going to be able to have that they're not going to have those issues anymore because they've set up new servers they've um done a few things to make it to where you can actually just get into more servers as people try to log in especially when um 15 comes around for the new version of the game. So according to some PC players, they've been waiting for an update for a very long time, and this was supposed to be the slated update, but it's not the update they wanted because this is not something they really care about. They don't care about consoles, which makes sense because they're a bunch of silent whining, siding PC players. You're never gonna make a PC player happy, not gonna lie. Now for the console players interested in New World because they just saw the video and they were like, oh, what is New World? Well, if you've been living under a rock, you'll find out what New World is right now. It is a MMORPG featuring PVE and PVP content along with raids, dungeons, and various other activities to do in games such as life skills and fishing and apparently music making, which is new to me. That must have been added after I left the game. Now the thing about New World is that it is not your standard MMORPG where you go and pick your class and level your class and change your class to another class tree. In New World, you pick a weapon and you level up that weapon, and through leveling up that weapon, you'll be able to gain more skills. Gaining those skills lets you customize your weapon however you want, and you'll be able to use two weapons at a time, switching between those to lay out your combos. I'm not gonna lie, the amount of time I'm gonna put into this game is gonna be ungodly when it comes out on October 15th. I probably will be doing a few giveaways uh, for the channel, just to, you know, throw some people out there, get some people the game that probably won't be able to afford the game. But that'll more than likely happen close towards release. And of course, I'll put up a video letting you guys know what's going on with the giveaway before that, and check, pay attention to the community tab as well, because I'll post more information there. Now, onto the conspiracies, which is the fun part of this. I was thinking, because I've been telling my friends, like, man, Amazon's not really doing anything with Throne of Liberty or Blue Protocol lately. Blue Protocol just got delayed pretty much on the um, on the other front of the world. And um, Throne of Liberty, we haven't heard anything else since we had the last beta. And so I was like, man, they must be working on New World coming out soon for consoles. Because New World, like, the, the entire system is set up for consoles, like the battle system, um the skill set like how you have three skills on each weapons like it's all set up for consoles so i'm like man they're gonna be releasing new world at some point this year right because it's been like what four or five years now new world's been out and like right on the dot when i was having that conversation i was watching summer game fest and it pops up and i was like dude it's happening and i was like yep it's happening it's over but yeah guys new world october 15th on the playstation and xbox with crossplay see you guys then peace don't forget to like comment and subscribe